Hello, YouTube or Facebook or whoever might be watching this. Son of a bitch, my dad just walked outside. Now my dog's barking. Anyway, I'm not restarting the episode again. You don't need to know what happened the first time. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today's episode. And I figured out the puzzles. Look at me go. I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to Zelda each and every day. I didn't have to look up the walkthrough f for that one. It was pretty much, it was a big game of just trial and error. Wait. What is this? I felt like, is it going to have to be two on two? Or not two on two. Min is not going to help me fight. So it's just, it's honestly just going to be two on one fight. Wolf Link versus the two ghosts of his, his demise. It's always the funnest of times. You got to turn on your wolf senses and then you, should, you see the ghost. I saw him there before. I was just like, okay, just making sure I'm not getting double teamed. Ah! Get out of here, you big gross. Ah! Oh, oh no, but he's using double team. Oh, sneeze. 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 Okay, I guess that's not the way to deal damage. Tooth goes. Oh, I found the actual one. Look at me. Look at me. I'm sneezing. <laughs> I'm sneezing, everyone. Look at me go. Um, you should come toward me. You should come toward me. You should... Ah. I... I ruined the attack! Ah. No, target that guy. Link. Oh, man, that was my own stupid fault. Okay. I, I'll admit when I'm at fault for my own stupidity, but I will also admit when in, this game is not developed properly enough. <laughs> I'm so, I am I I am being such an asshole to this game. I apologize. Ow! Ah, oh, it just Miyamoto's just sitting back like watching this video. He's just like, yeah, you only hate it because you fucking suck at it. It's, that's <laughs> I'm just not very good. I'm just not very good, everyone. <laughs> just get awkward for a second. Awkward silence. Ah! Oh, come on, man. We ah. Oh. I ruined it. I was like, let's execute the attack, right? Please don't be mad at me. Alright, I'm gonna get this guy. He's really making me angry. There he is! Fight him! Before he can execute his freaking flame lantern attack. You ain't no Roy Alchemist, the flame mustang. You ain't got what it takes to f go just fling a fire around. He, he, that takes a lot of responsibility you know it's not just something someone can step into it's about as safe as a chimpanzee with a machine gun where is is this the way oh no there's a way well I got his so um I guess I'll just I'll get back to the the hub of the dungeon when I do which might be very much sooner than I'd ever want it to be uh well what's happened now what is my flow situation looking like? I know where I'm at. I see now. There is a room. Damn near. On every floor at the top in the exact same place. One, two, three, four, five, four. It's just almost the exact same room on four floors. Anyway, where shall I go? Okay. Oh, wait, I can't go that way, can I? Let's, uh, how do I get down there? What's that blue dot indicate? What's that mean? What's anything? All right, well, I guess I will find out soon on my show. On my show! Oh, come on! What was that? Oh, you control like garbage, Wolf Link. You don't even walk well. Not good to me. Oh, what? Minda? You're just gonna let me drown in the sand? You're not even gonna be able to pull me up? The fate of an entire country depends on me. Ah, oh, this isn't cool. This isn't cool. Um, oh, there's my favorite worm pals down there. Favorite the worm pals. Um, man, this is. I gotta turn back into a man. I think that's the first thing I gotta do. I'm getting a little bit stumped. I'm getting a little bit stumped here. Oh, can I hook shot over there? I'd love nothing more. Don't let me hook shot over there. Why do you always have to lunge forward so dramatically? It's just, it's so dramatically. It's so dramatic. Okay, so I found out a way to progress through this dungeon. <clears throat> and what that was, was to uh, 
just I was supposed to go to that. It was pretty stupid that I hadn't thought about it before. But hey, here's the last ghosty goo. So let's just slice up these other little jerks that'll get in our way before they truly get in our way. That makes the most sense, doesn't it? And oh, what I did was I turned that room at the bottom, like you know that the only room like on the. I think it's on the lowest floor. I don't want to. I'm not too sure about that, but it it, it was that little freaking that little uh, secret I uncovered. You know when I uh, I dug up in the square room. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> but I dug up a freaking. I dug up the secret room, and then well, what's your special ability? You just do that. I've already faced the most difficult of you. Eh, I guess I really was supposed to come here sooner. But it's not a big deal. I just turned that room down at the bottom, and then there was that pillar that was going through two rooms at the same time. One of them was on the higher room. There was a hole in the bottom of that room. I couldn't see it if the room was turned in a certain way, so I had to turn the room another way. And when I turned it that way, I could get the claw shot and then claw up to the room. I'll show you in a second what I'm... Ow! <laughs> I'm sure you already know. This is like an older game. It's like... It was 2007. It is now 2014. Was it now 2007 or was it before that? I have no idea. But I'm a wolf person. And that's just Legend of Zelda and GameCube. <laughs> Legend of Zelda on GameCube's best work. Wind Waker was truly better than this game. This blows that game out of the water. <laughs> no. I, I never said that. Rudy Between Worlds never said that. Don't listen to what Rudy Between Worlds said. This this game is not shit compared to Wind Waker. It is just nothing. It is it is shit practically compared to Wind Waker. Wind Waker was just it's such a good game. It's way better than this piece. Like this video if you think I should start playing Legend of Zelda Wind Waker instead of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Don't like this video if you're just watching or if you're Okay, not, so let me show you how I made progress throughout this dungeon. We just gotta push this. Apparently we can't push it from that angle, so we just gotta push this from the very particular sides, apparently. And then, once we do that, we can go through that hole up in the ceiling of this room and grab, or by grabbing that up there with our claw shot. And that is how progress would made. Thanks so much for watching. And then once I made progress, I was able to go through this big door, which goes to, you guessed it, more fun from the dungeon, so yay for that. And we gotta kill this skull person that's on fire. We gotta kill both of them. Link, get that guy before he attacks you. You gotta be a little bit more targeting, Link. Man, this game is already putting me in a stupid mood. Not gonna go into detail, it's just this game is already making me f lose my mind. If you know what I'm saying? This is part of the reason as to why I can only play f two or three episodes of this game at a time. It just makes me go stupid. Okay, well there's the big boss key, but <clears throat> that will be very not useful at all until I can find the... Uh, what's the name of that uh, piece of shit again? It's... uh. Until we can find the big top that we spin on, like we do. That's what, that's the official name by Nintendo. We gotta get, ah, oh, we was too late, we're gonna burn to death. Man, you guys just appear out of nowhere, that's just not cool. I mean, this ain't no Five Nights at Fredders, you can't just appear because it's a thing to do. You gotta, it's sacred, you know, scaring is sacred. Green with it, I can handle just fine. But now you're green with it with a scaring degree? <laughs> you, I, I made a reference to that in one part of this episode already. I love Uncle Joe. If you guys haven't seen that guy yet, you, you like you're really gonna hear a bunch from me about him. Like you, you're gonna be, like you're really gonna get turned on to him when I freaking talk about him on my show. His name is Uncle Joe. He makes animations that are random as hell on the internet. One of my favorite people ever. Uh, don't know him personally, but he's one of my favorite people to watch on the internet, I guess you could say. And, uh, yeah, he's got this animation out called Better Call Saul. It's it's a Monsters, Inc. parody! This, uh, what did I just say? That, that was actually pretty dang smooth what that little skeleton did. Oh, was I supposed to shoot myself up there? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think I can get up there. Oh, I see. I remember this part. It's the screwing room. 
Man, look at Link. He is a strong ass dude. He just pushes that. Pushes out like it ain't nothing. Oh, look, there's a freaking skeleton or a skull friend right there that we just do not want. Well, I uncovered a lot in this episode, I feel like. I feel like it came a pretty good way. Oh, really? You're just going to jump around now? Whatever. Anyway, it's probably high time for me to end this episode, so. Watching. If you liked what you saw today, like what you saw today. I'll open that chest in the next episode. And if you'd like to subscribe to watch more of these videos, well, I'm not going to stop you from doing that. That would actually be very helpful to me. Thank you very much, and you have a lovely day. Thank you for watching, and we see you tomorrow.